Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you an update. Um, a lot has been going on. I ended up coming back into the hospital um, last week just because I couldn't stop vomiting. And uh, so I came back here and I had like this really weird rash as well. So I um, basically tried to get back on track. I stopped vomiting and then I was supposed to come home on Saturday and then I ended up saying, okay, you know what, I'll give it one more day just so I know for sure that I'm okay. And I said, okay, I'll come home Sunday. So Sunday comes and the doctors come in and tell them, tell me that I only have a few days to live. And I still feel in shock because it was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. I know my health problems are getting worse. This year has been worse, but I did not expect that short of time. And um, it's been really hard. Uh, the hospital has been gracious enough to let me have a lot of friends and family visit, which was amazing. Then, about two days later, they said, oh, well, you know what? We think you might have more time, which is great. Like, but I just feel like I don't know anything that's going on. Um, and they also told me that because of that, um, I'm not allowed to have visitors. So I still haven't seen DeAndre, my middle son, unfortunately. Um, and I had family come from out of town friends come from out of town and they were like in the city or in front of the hospital and I had to tell them you know what you can't visit me which is like heartbreaking because I know how much they want to see me and I want to see them so I'm basically then they they switched me to this oxygen mask uh, because my oxygen level was 84 and they want it up to 92 um i i feel like there's a million things i have to do that i haven't done yet i feel like this is not my time i feel like this is not this is not real i have so many things so many reasons that I feel like I have a purpose to fulfill and I just don't I just can't believe it um I have been thinking really hard and trying really hard to get as many things as I can taken care of um and I'm doing that because I don't want to go and worry. And worry. Um, so I'm glad that they're saying that I have more time. I don't know how long that will be. I will keep you guys updated if I can. If I'm able to do another video, I can. I will. But um, it's just hard to hear this news. It's really hard. Um, one of the things that I wanted really badly that never happened is I wanted to be married and as you can see I have a lovely plastic ring for now and that's because um, I married my spouse which is amazing. I'm so happy that we got to do that. Um, we were planning to soon anyway so I just... I just, um, I love him so much. He's been everything, he's done everything, everything. He's, he's my Superman. Um, but I, I, yes, I'm Miss Faith Foster now. Uh, uh, it's just, I can't imagine 
you know, my life ending without saying goodbye to all the people I love. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to change things, make things work so that I am able, um, even if I get to go home, which one of the doctors said would be the goal, is to get me home. Um, if I go home, I'm having a big ass party to have friends, just have time with my friends that I haven't gotten to see because it's not fair. The stupid COVID shit. Like, I can't, can't stand it. I understand you want to protect people, but when somebody's dying, when somebody's on their deathbed and they want to see their friends, let them see their friends. Why? Why? Why can't they? And I understand other people are jealous or get mad because I've had more visitors. But you know what? Who cares? I guess it's not affecting you. And I need, even if I only have one visitor at a time, that's fine. I just, I need to see my people. Anyways, I don't want to go off, so I won't. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know. I really hope that things are going to change, but they may not. And I have to, you know, I have to accept that. And I still hold hope that something can happen, a miracle can happen. Um, I've defied the odds many times. So, I'm hoping that I can do that again, and uh, I'm going to try very hard to do everything I can to stay positive, stay strong, and, uh, you know, if, if I don't stay positive and stay strong, then this may be the end, but I... I I just, I want everyone to know that I appreciate your love and support. Sorry, I keep jumping with the camera. I appreciate your love and support. I appreciate everything that everyone has done, everyone that's been there for me. And um, I just want to say thank you for, for listening. And uh, thank you for taking the time to get to know my story. Alright, y'all. Peace and love.